You're going to love that. Colin and Justin are here. Thank you, Sean. Hello, you. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Welcome to summer, Tracy. I love it, and I match. You do you much. Totally so tailored. this is beautiful, and we, we know that this is very much inspired by being on the West Coast and seeing the way people live in houseboats. You yeah. know, it's incredible. We went to BC and we went to Victoria, and we discovered an absolute haven of floating homes. People are living there all year round on yeah. these floating apartments. They're just spectacular. So we thought today we should take a lot of inspiration from that and put a room set together. And we've actually put together some pickies as well for you to have a little look. Yeah, we've got yeah. some photographs of our holidays I mean look at that it's all about color it's all about proximity to the ocean you know I mean these people they live right on the water on wharfs fishermen's wharf absolutely fantastic you're there for the experience there for the color and of course there for the wonderful neighbors as well. Want to see a little picture of the neighbors coming up? Look at these guys. No, here. come on, you cute little fellas. Oh, little community. They were so Super adorable. Cute. You've got to remember Sweet. a fed seal is a dead seal, so don't feed those yes. them. Just go down and play oh, with them. Oh, you just you, play. They'll yeah, fend for themselves. You just play, you watch, you shouldn't feed them, and there are signs everywhere saying okay. don't feed them, exactly. just enjoy watching them. Yeah. But another thing that we love <laughs> watching is anything to do with nautical style. Yes. And we found this wonderful paper from a Swedish company called Sandberg. And stripes are unisex. Do you know they can go in a guy's yeah. room and a girl's room they add tons of nautical flair mm -hmm. so we've done that on our back wall now this room is absolutely peppered peppered I say with DIY projects we've made everything you can see the lamps <laughs> yes. the hoops above the little life preservers we'll show you much more of that later because there's a there's an SS Tracy there is yeah, I love it exactly SS. and so long may super she, sexy Tracy long she fly, baby. Baby. Hello, baby. Uh, so this is great. You guys are very good at the DIYs, and we are going to nail down a few of them a little bit later uh, on in the show. Let's talk a little bit about the the, the bedding as well. Sure. I mean, once you had stripes on the wall, you've got stripes in the bedding, and it does have that nautical vibe. Yeah, that's. It. I mean, the great thing about stripes is don't be afraid to mix different yeah. things. You know, as long as you've got one color that you can tie them together with. Here, it's blue. Yes. You know, you can tone up, you can tone down. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. There's freedom there. You know, I mean, the bed is the centerpiece of any bedroom. And we love this white panelled furniture from Urban Barn, you know, because it's got a slightly kind of antique feel. Yes. And we found in these kind of painted houses by the ocean, there were a lot of antique pieces in there against the painted wood, and it really sang to us. And we That's were like, lovely. okay, that feels escapist. And of course, with a bed, you've got to layer it up, okay? Yeah. You want it to be like buxom and busty and full. Busty. 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 There's an adjective. Nice. Don't you? Too. You want it to, it's got to be 3D. You don't want your bed just to look like a prison what? cell. No. Right. Now. It's got to have lots and lots of layers. Now, talking of layers, I love these little lights. We found these in HomeSense. They're almost like little sea urchins, the kind yes. of things that cling to the bottom of these gorgeous floating homes at Fisherman's Wharf. So we really love those. Uh, over here, we've taken a different way to look at installing Ooh, a piece nice. of art. Regular piece of artwork that's depicting the world, obviously, and the ocean around about but rather than just hang it any old style we've actually used nautical inspired rope and we've looped it around the bottom and I guess Tracy that's the essence of what we try and do when we do our projects we're always always looking for I guess different ways to show you things with which you're familiar mm. but right. package them all in a way that makes it feel a little more alive now the chair mm. down here every bedroom should have a comfy chair this fella came from Wicker Emporium we've been brave enough to add a slightly green tone as well um, and I think when you play those tones confidently they really come together Slip covered. Slip covered. So smart. easy wash, whip it off, shove yeah. it in the machine, shove it back on, get it dirty again, whip yes. it off. Yeah. Well, when you're looking at coastal decor, I notice it does have that very low maintenance vibe because people are coming in and out. You've been in the water, you've been in the sand, you're coming in. You don't want anything that's too precious. You want exactly. it to be rustic and easy. You know, that's why we chose this rug from Ikea. You mm -hmm. know, because it's got that kind of like natural, just came in off the sand kind of feel. Yeah. You know, and we've got some towels in here, little anchors and stuff, little stripes. You don't want to go overboard. You know, it's yeah. not the sesame street of kind of coastal <laughs> rooms. Um, but if you can add just little touches, little fun emblems that yeah. suggest that whole coastal escapism, I think that's when it works. you're going to have a really good bedroom. Avoiding being too literal, I think, is the key thing. Yeah. Yeah, if you sure. have too many stars and stripes and too many anchors and too many shellfish and sea things and urchins, too much yeah. too is much. often a little bit too much. So yeah. less is more.